Today's guide will give you everything that you need in order to do the Riven Fast Q combo. What you may expect from this video are the best settings, as well as hidden Q tricks, uh, Fast Q practice instructions, and of course, a full Riven gameplay. Let's get into it. When you want the perfect fast Q combo, you want to go down to your settings and make sure to turn off the vertical sync. Vertical sync makes your game very inconsistent and it has to be turned off if you want to perfectionize the fast Q ribbon combo. You also want to make sure that the FPS cap is not locked on 60. It needs to be higher because the higher it is, the more responsive the game is and also the more smooth it will be. Then you want to go down to the hotkey page and scroll all the way down and make sure to enable this setting. Uh, what this does is you can right click using your right mouse button to move around and you can attack using the left mouse button. And what this does is you can no longer misclick. You will always be able to hit your target even if you accidentally misclick. This is very important when you play Riven and many other champions in general as well. Before we get into the Riven Fast Q combo, there's an important mechanic that you should know. If you start up Riven's Q, the cooldown timer will already start running. So if you Q on the very last second every single time, you will be able to get your next Q up again as soon as you use it. If you don't use this tactic, this is how long you will have to wait when you have two items that give cooldown. This is very important when you're going to all in with the fast Q combo. Another important mechanic you should know before attempting the fast Q is about Riven's Q. If you hold your mouse on the target, you will Q on the target. And if you hold your mouse away from the target, you will Q right through. Now for the drill for the fast Q combo, what I want you to do in order to achieve this kind of speed, you want to start off practicing the fast Q against the wall. Practicing the fast Q combo with a target that stays right next to the wall makes it easier for you to practice because your target doesn't get the knockup and it doesn't move away from you either. This is how the fast Q looks like in slow motion. You Q, you auto, and you move so you can cancel the animation and then start up the next Q again. I also want to give you another drill. By clicking left or right as fast as you can, you want to make this a habit because you want to increase and become better at your reaction timing. This allows you to dodge a lot better, but it also allows you to do the fast Q a lot easier because you become faster with your hands. At some point when you become really good at those two drills, then this will eventually be the outcome, the result, what you've been practicing for all this time. Now let's get into a gameplay and I will show you exactly how Riven is being played in the game. All right, guys, we are currently up against the Kale matchup right now. Uh, for the best runes for Riven, I would definitely always recommend going for Conqueror, uh, while also taking Triumph, Alacrity, Last Stand. We also have Nimbus Cloak because we're going to combine this with Ignite, so we can get the movement speed from Ignite. And we also have Transcendence. Uh, along with this, we have Ability Haste, AD, and we're running Magic Resist. So, what I like to do when I play against champions like Kale is actually go for the level 1 cheese. Uh, it's actually quite interesting. Whenever she walks up for the CS, we want to walk up and pull our entire combo on her. Or like this. I could have maybe, uh, maybe used my fast Q when she came closer to the bush. Could have probably used it right away. Could have had like slightly more damage off, but it's fine, it's okay. I'm going to see if I can cheese him at level 2, maybe. Oh, I'm already using my Q. I need one more creep to reach level 2. In um, matchups like this, you want to play as aggressive as possible. This is definitely a matchup being favored for Riven. Um, 
And there's definitely like many things that you can do to win this matchup. I'll show you how to do it. First of all, I'd like to go with a push against Kale uh, after a level 1 fight. Because the uh, groups are being drawn towards me. So uh, it's very likely to push towards Kale. Now, as soon as we get to reset this lane, I will try to like build up the wave towards me. So we reset the lane by letting this entire wave like crash into the into the tower like this. We're not really gonna fight kill that much at all. Just making make sure it's gonna crash in. Now, as soon as this wave is going to get farmed out by Kale, uh, the wave will push towards me again. Let's see if I can get like a tiny trade in between. We might even be able to get a kill right here if we played super smart. Let's see. If she comes close to the CS, we will go for another short trade. There's actually three people coming top right now. Wow. Three people. <laughs> in what world am I living? There's like three people coming top. Or it's only like three minutes and 40 in the game right now. What? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Unfortunately, we have to lose our flash, but it is what it is. I'll just get... Oh, Kane is coming again? Wait, what? Wow. We're being camped like crazy right now. This guy is getting too confident. There we go. This Kale has got so confident about the fact that he gets so many ganks by his team that we were able to take him down right here. Great. And Kane is coming top again for the third time right now. Hold on a second. Definitely not going to give him a chance. Unfortunately, Kane is top again. I think he's in the tri bush right now, so... We can't really fight Kale. I'm actually hoping to get a gank right now by Nunu just to fix this issue. Uh, there he is. Oh, wait, I'll take him down. Never mind. I'm not going to go for that. If I go for a trade with Kane now, then I will lose the entire wave right here and that will be low HP as well. So I'd rather take this wave, secure the entire farm. Okay, time to push the next wave. We're about to reach level 6. We haven't bought my item yet, but... If Kill comes in right now... Then we can maybe cheese her with the level 6. No. Doesn't actually seem like she's gonna come. Yeah, she's here right now. She bought the next item. Okay, we're gonna be backing off. Uh, the first item we will buy is definitely gonna be Fage. Uh, along with this, we will buy boots, and I'll definitely get another ruby crystal with another potion. But the good thing is that the wave is currently going to get crashed into me again. Choose your own path. As you can see, the wave is currently down here. As long as the as long as we don't touch this wave, it will arrive right here where we can freeze it. We could try to maybe walk around. And get a kill on this guy. He, he definitely doesn't have a ward yet. So he doesn't know that I'm here. Alright. Let's wait. We have to be very patient. Now I think as soon as he pushes this in. He might actually place a ward down. If he places one single ward down. We can take him down instantly. Alright. I think he's probably backing inside one of these bushes. This is great for me, because now we can actually hold the wave here. We can freeze it out right now. She will have to come close. She's level 5 right now. He might actually get a gank by Silas. He's coming topside. Hold out the wave. I'll be using my potion right now. I got him. I don't think I actually need a gank here, to be honest. But whatever. It's nice to have some help by my mid laner. Okay, now we push. We make sure to reset the entire lane by crashing it into the turret again. I would also like to try to get like one plating, but... 
I'll just keep it the way it is. We're going to back now so we can buy other city boots. In a matchup like this, guys, I would definitely recommend getting the lucidity boots as quickly as possible. Uh, because this will give you movement speed, which allows you to chase down Kale a lot better. And also having the ability haste. There's actually someone here, wait. Oh, he, oh, I actually walked down here. Oh. <laughs> we got him. Sure. And we got this guy. He can't run. I got my knight too. I'll see if I can actually hold my ignite. Nah, never mind. I'll use it now. By using my ignite, we also get the movement speed from it as well. Since we are running a uh, Nimbus Cloak in this game. Let's get some plates. We'll definitely make sure to get the first blade right now. I think as soon as we back, we're probably just going to go for a pickaxe and then we'll see what we do afterwards. Could we finish up the uh, the kennel gym as well? All right, time to go back. Let's go for a pickaxe. We will buy this. Hopefully, we can buy it. At least. We could maybe try to get a kill here. He might not expect it. Wait, he's coming closer. I wonder if he knew, actually. He threw a Q into the bus, so he probably must have known, I think. Now we push on the entire wave again. We make sure to uh, make that reset. And then we're backing off again. We can now actually afford the Gorjinka right now. Actually, we need like 100 gold. Wait, I want to get the Gorjinka. Hold on. Hold on a second. Gotta make sure to get the Gorjinka now, even if this is risky. Because if we get the Gorjinker, that's going to be like a huge difference. It's definitely going to help. Uh, for this matchup, you could also... Uh, you could also go for Prodder's Claw. You could. No need to. Alright, the wave's going to get pushed in again. Nice. I'm going to see if I can walk around. Let's see if he expects it. This guy's dead. I'm so huge right now that he can't escape from me anymore. Okay. Thank you. Nice. Got a double kill right there. Yeah, I'm so I'm so fed right now that we can literally take down these guys with just a fast queue alone. We don't even have to use my R anymore at this point because we already have way too much damage. Get some plates. Gonna get another plate. I'm gonna dive this guy. Thank you very much. We knew that the ultimate was down, so we didn't have to worry. We already knew that uh, his ultimate was being used on the Joner, and we can instantly kill him under tower, so that's not a problem. Oh, he's spawning it, sure. He can take it if he wants to. I certainly don't mind. Let's buy another ward. Talon is currently on bot lane. Alright. So. This was the laning phase. Now comes the interesting part of the game, guys. Um, our main goal right now is to split as much as possible. We're going to try to pressure out the lane. And along with this, I will be farming out the jungle camps. 
as much as possible, trying to get all the catches. Hopefully this guy's going to continue pushing. He does not have flash. No, we won't get him. No. I'm not really sure if his ultimate is up or not. I know that Kale's ultimate is a very long cooldown because I play Kale myself as well. Uh, but I I'm not really sure if it's up right now. I think it is. I'm not going to take that away from him. Oh, he's giving that to me? I would like to roll mid lane. Uh, but... Let's see if we can actually get a catch here. Hmm. There's going to be a massive fight at the dragon, but we don't have to be there. We killed Kale so fast that she couldn't even pull the, the ultimate anymore. She just instantly died. Moving up there. We can help them out. Take this yes at the same time. Look at this guy. Hold on. I'm waiting for my abilities to come back. Uh, this is going to be tricky. I'd rather not try. I'd rather not risk that because if if I accidentally die, they're going to get a lot of gold from me. It seems like my team still has a lot of trouble, but it doesn't matter. It's fine. Let's see if we can kill him. I've got my guy now. There we go. We can maybe get their AD carry as well. I got him. I'm actually very happy with the fact that I have Nim uh, Nimbus Cloak for the movement speed. I think if I didn't have Nimbus Cloak here, I would have probably died. Probably. High chance. Because we outran uh, Kane's W as well. I'm pretty sure if that one landed, I would have I, I would have probably died. That's where you see the difference, uh, whether you have Nimbus Cloak or not. Oh, these guys are uh, these guys are at risk. Let's get the uh, black lever. I'm gonna walk up to the red buff, and I'll be taking that. I think our next item is probably going to be Chainsword because they have a lot of healing, uh, like a lot of uh, healing in their team. Nice. This game is still going to be very challenging because my teammates are not winning that hard. We have to. Uh, we're going to have to help them through. Hey, we can chase them down. This guy's dead. I got rip off. He can't try. He can't run. He can't run either. Oh, or maybe it's it's Kane. Kane Kane players always seem to find a way to come out every single time. <laughs> they will always find a way to escape. There's currently three people on the Drake. Right now. There's no blue buff anymore. Nice. I don't care about kill that much because she is currently 0 and 8 and 0. She has no kills, nothing at all. She only has like one, one single item. If we are lucky, she might pass through to take the farm right now. Let's see. I'm pretty sure she's going to farm this out. We just have to be very, very patient. I'm, I'm sure of it. 
I'm sure. Trust me. Just wait. Be patient. Patience is key. Maybe. I don't know what she's doing. Oh. Patience is key. Always. It always works. It's just, it's 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 an old trick in the book, guys. Uh, the wolves are spawned right now. I'll make sure to get this. Uh, Talon is here, but we're not going to do anything with Talon because I'm sure they're coming here right now. We've got 2k gold to spend. We have Flash coming in about 50 seconds right now. So, let's get Chainsword along with this item. This guy's actually fighting bot right now. <clears throat> Take the farm in mid. Hey, this guy is overextending. He tried going and now he tried to help out these guys. Hmm. Okay. I would like to farm out the jungle, but. Let's dive these guys. Oh, he's, he's, this guy's dead. Got him. Uh, let's. There's no chems anymore to take. Kale is farming out topside currently, but it doesn't really matter. Once again, we're so far ahead right now. It it really doesn't matter at this point. If she gets like a little bit of farm, it won't change anything. Kane is here. Of course, he's gonna be um, he's gonna be looking to catch me because I'm worth like a thousand gold right now. Get this one. We can buy life now too. We are so fed right now. We got about 16 kills. I think I'll probably just get a Hydra. Nice. This guy is dead too. Oh. Seems like they're going for a surrender. Well, either way guys. Uh, let's take a look and see how much damage we've actually done in this game. Uh, I think we've probably done like 20k, 20k damage or something like that. Maybe 25. Either way, this was just a draft game uh, for the video. We've got 23.9k damage. And for the runes, this is the runes that we've been using in this game, guys. Uh, now, one more thing. If you guys want to see me play live, uh, definitely make sure to check out my stream, guys. I'm not live right now. This is actually one of my very few games that I don't play live. But... Uh, Definitely make sure to check it out. Link inside the description. Pretty much live every single day. But thank you for being here. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.